What's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here from HarmonicaJams.com. Welcome back to another harmonica lesson out of the thousands I've done. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, uh, some of you may have seen, I, I think I've done one harmonica lesson on YouTube. Uh, it was the first instrument that I started playing that got me into playing guitar. So I'm kind of like going full circle and going back and kind of been studying um, the harmonica again a little bit, you know, just basic blues harmonica, but I thought it'd be a good opportunity to uh, show you a cool, a cool little lick that you can try whether, you know, you've never played before, you got one like in your stocking for Christmas or whatever. It's your basic um, little blues lick like this. That kind of thing. I'm going to show it to you. You don't really need a lot of skill, but it's a good like start and it sounds familiar. It sounds kind of cool. This is a fun little thing. Um, also, if you guys are more interested in the harmonica kind of stuff, you can leave a comment below and let me know. I mean, sometimes I get requests like to make a DVD on how to play harmonica, um, but obviously it's not as, there's not as much interest in that as all my guitar lessons. So it's up to you guys. But anyway, here's what we're going to do. The harmonica is basically like an invisible instrument. I mean, when you... Okay. So let's see. Uh, one tip is if you're playing a blues in the key of G, for instance, you want to go up four letters from that blues key and play the harmonica the four letters up. So like if you're in the key of G, G, A, B, C. So you need a C harmonica to play the key of G and that ratio will work in any basic blues. So I had a little jam track going there and it was just a funk in G. And so what I, all I was doing there, the cool thing about uh, the harmonica is if you just inhale in these lower registers right here, you get a G7 chord. And when you blow into it, you get a C major chord. So that's actually the first two chords of the G blues. Uh, another thing, uh, obviously you hear bending all the time. So there's a lot of stuff that goes in goes on inside your mouth to changing the shape of your mouth to bend to create um, kind of like a vacuum. So one thing you want to work on right away is um, trying to play one clean note, whether you're inhaling or blowing. And you can go anywhere on the harmonica to start working on that. Like for instance, if I just you know, like when my kids put the harmonica on their mouth there. You know, that kind of thing. What you want to do is start to narrow your mouth, your lips, just until you can hear one note. That's a great start. And so here's the blues lick that I'm going to teach you. We're going to go like this. We're going to We're going to blow into the 3, the 3 hole there. You can't see it when you're playing, but it's the root. It's a G note. The weird thing about when you play harmonica this way is the inhale on the 2 is the root as well. It's a G note as well. Now, typically in the lower register, the inhales are where you get most of those blues notes. So you could do it either way. So I inhaled on the two or I blew on the three. It's the same note. With the inhale on the two, you can change the shape of your mouth and bend it down a whole step. And it's kind of like ee with the shape of inside your mouth. But that's not what we're doing for this blues lick. We'll have to do a another video on, on the bending again. So we're gonna blow into the three, then we're gonna blow into the four, then we're gonna go back to the three. So you can see, 
<laughs> my uh, there's no ungoofy way to do it, but uh, you know, there's kind of a little bit of a suction going, and we're going, you know, just enough to get that one hole there. So two blow, three blow, back to the two blow. So all I did was blow there. Even that could be musical. Okay, so you got... Then we're gonna inhale on, on the three. Now if I inhale that three, that's the inhale on the three. You can bend that note as well, but that's not what we're focused on right now. So if you can just kind of close your lips and kind of get a nice vacuum on that three note, you can kind of bend it down a little bit. It's a little bluesier. But basically we got blow on the three, four, three again, inhale on the three, blow on the three, just like that. point at the camera when I'm blowing and so just that one note was the inhale and when I went up, that six blow is the higher root so you got You're just inhaling to get that G and you know these are little hand tricks you can cup it in your left hand like that and then you can you know little tricks like that but so some of the things with that, it gets you playing sing single notes on the harmonica, which is kind of like your first obstacle, and then playing a little melody and kind of being musical with it. And then the next step would be to start working on bending the notes. And the biggest bend on the harmonica is the four hole bend. So, the way I got that bend was just by inhaling really hard and kind of tilting the harmonica up just to start to feel what that's like and it's also uh, kind of like forming uh, different size vacuums inside your mouth like almost with words using your your tongue and your mouth like e -oh, e -oh. kind of like a donkey I guess I don't know but um, but those are just some basic tricks but work on that lick the other thing is when you're playing the harmonica like a C harmonica in blues and G you can't really hit a bad note. They all sound good, so you can just totally just go nuts and experiment. And you're gonna wanna do that a lot to get good at harmonica. It's really an, you know, heavily ear, you know, your ear has to be good to hear the notes. 